to South Dakota. Today we are at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, but we're not at Sturgis. We're gonna to be touring all of the old western cowboy towns today. We're going to Hill City, and we're going to Custer, and we're gonna end up with what you see behind me, Deadwood, and we're gonna take you guys alongside with me. I got my camera attached to my wrist all day long, and you guys are gonna come along with us and check this whole place out. It's pretty amazing. Me, Craig from Flying Wheels, you all know Papa Al. Let's get going. Dakota today is a wild day yesterday was a great day of riding today it's all about old-fashioned towns we're talking 200 plus year old cowboy towns we're going to saloons we're going to the stores we're gonna check out all the trading posts we're gonna explore all of South Dakota it's pretty neat coming along with me is not that guy that guy Papa Al we're gonna explore and check out everything and I'll tell you what Deadwood is at the end of this video which is where I'm at right now let's get started in Keystone and we're gonna make our way back to Deadwood because this place is crazy I'm gonna shoot these videos one every single day for every day that I'm here so you guys get to come alongside with me and check it all out just as I see it so make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet you can hit the bells down below to get notifications and also give me a thumbs up if you like anything to help me boost the algorithm so my channel grows I make better videos when they get promoted so it's people helping people let's start off with our morning let's get going Check out this 32 Ford right there in the barn. Pretty neat. Now this is part of the scene where Dances with Wolves was shot. So here's the old town, blacksmith, sawmill, post office. Oh, we can go in all these. Biscuits, gravy, apple juice, and that's it. Yeah, I started watching you a while ago. We got a viewer. Yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, I saw you posted a new video. I didn't see what car you bought. Yeah, you gotta watch. I'm not gonna tell you. We're at 29k. I'll give you that. Well, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. 25,000 last night, but next week will be 29,000 in German. Yeah, and German and I are going and splitting it. So we're gonna eat, see who can buy what and make more money. Cool. Yeah, what's your name? John. Thanks for watching. Appreciate that. Hey, have a good day. Check this out. Country breakfast. We have our pancakes, sausage, biscuits and gravy. But the neat thing is the chuck wagon plates, like the Frisbees from Back to Future 3. Frisbee. Far out. To clean off my windshield. shopping and tourist traps too so we're gonna go check this one out now you're 81 you're putting on more miles than I am by far and you haven't complained yet how are you riding this bike for so long without complaints or aches i don't have any itch. you gotta just love it and that's not true he's turned this thing into a lazy boy so that seat is fit to you isn't it yeah and that seat's custom fit to him he doesn't even need a backrest because this right here is his backrest show him how you get on and off if you don't mind Both sides, you shouldn't be getting on on both sides. You get in on the you get on on the kickstand side. Good flex. Good knees at 81. There's a lot 
little more to it. Hold on. <laughs> That's his air ride. So he drops it to get on and off and then lifts it to ride. Now yesterday we were on the back road, Needles Highway, Custer State Park. I was trying to keep up with him, watching him scrape his pegs. Check out this thing right here. I don't know who has a better rack. This one? Or that one? by Keystone. Now we move on to the next cowboy town. I don't even know where we're going. I just keep following them. They know where they're going. So let's see where we end up. City, South Dakota. This is the first cowboy town among many that we're gonna to go tour today. And unfortunately, we got stuck in the rain. So what is there to do when it's raining? We're gonna to have to go into a saloon. The most fun so far. Oh, excuse me guys, sorry about that. Here's an old inn where the uh, piano would, where the piani would be and the bar and the ladies of the night. Hey, ready for a fun fact? You wanna learn something new? So in the movie Tombstone, when Doc Holliday was talking to Johnny Ringo and says, I'll be your huckleberry. I'm your huckleberry. He doesn't actually say, I'll be your huckleberry. He says, I'll be your huckle-bearer. I'm your huckleberry. And that was a person that would carry the coffin. So what he was actually saying, and what Doc Holliday said in real life, was I'll be your huckle-bearer. Meaning he'll carry Johnny Ringo's coffin after he shoots him. Fun fact. Welcome back. Now we're going to head to Deadwood. What's it powered by? What's the engine? It's a General Motors engine. It's a turbocharged. It's a 1.6 liter engine. Oh, cool. It goes. 
I don't even know what lake this is, but it's pretty cool looking. 11 minutes later. Deadwood. Now, Deadwood, made famous by the show on HBO with Timothy Oliphant, Deadwood. And then also Wild Bill Hickok, who was a gunslinger and a poker player, and then Calamity Jane as well. So that's the one I'm excited to go check out. Resting place of Wild Bill Hickok. What the heck is that thing? Posts, casinos. I have a lot of young viewers. Who knows what this thing is? Hello? Hello? If people didn't know what that was, they definitely won't know what this thing is. Want to explain how it worked? Because I see a crank right there. Pump five gallons of fuel in the glass container. That container full, that was five gallons. You pump it in the car. So you'd pump it with this. Yeah. That would fill up with five gallons of fuel, and then you'd, you'd pump drain this, it out of the hose. And that measures the five gallons, the three gallons, whatever. This is what I think of when I think of an old western car. Oh, I just realized I don't think that woman has a shirt on. Let's let's check it out. Just my curiosity has peaked. I have to be inconspicuous. Turn it around, turn it around. Oh, there it is. It's body paint. Wild Bill got shot in his salute up front. And that's the, where's the chair? The chair he got shot in. That's supposedly the original salute. There's the chair. Wild Bill's death chair. I don't care how old or tough you are, everybody loves an ice cream cone. This is the largest grizzly bear in South Dakota on record. Imagine getting attacked by that thing. Shine down the hatch. That's pretty good. Is it flammable? These were all caught by hand by a skilled tra skilled traps woman. <laughs> there she is. Papa Al found somebody with the same robo cap as his. That's from 1986. What's so special about that hat? You can turn it into a pocketbook. You can carry a six pack in it. At 50 miles an hour, it doesn't blow off your head. That's right. Flip it over, show me what it used to look like. Maybe at 100. <laughs> at 105, it don't blow off. Unbelievable. You'd think everything would be intimidating. Yeah. Everyone's rough bikers. Everyone's friendly. Wait a minute. 
This one says this is where Wild Bill was shot. So which one is it? This one? That one has the chair. You know where I'm about to go. Just kidding. A rich man lives in a castle, a poor man lives by the sea, with a whiskey glass and a fat girl's ass. It's going to be fun. What I've learned is it's a lot of gambling and bar after bar after bar. And then casinos. There's real light. You know we got to put 25 on red, right? I found one. Want to see how fast I can lose 25 bones? 25 on red, please. <laughs> oh, I guess that means I'm going to keep playing. I knew I should have walked away after that first win because it was lost, lost, lost. And that kid's is why you don't gamble. So that's it for all the cowboy towns today. Basically, to sum it all up, it's a lot of bars and a lot of souvenir shops, but still pretty interesting. Tonight, I'm going to downtown Sturgis to see how wild it actually gets. What is it like downtown party central of Sturgis, South Dakota on a Saturday night? We're gonna find out. So come along with me in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. If you hit the bell button, it gives you notifications every time we make a new video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up to help me boost the algorithm. I'll see you all later. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next video. So welcome to Craig's Last Words. Today was an absolute blast and very different from yesterday where we got to do all types of riding. Today was a visit to all the cowboy towns. I really enjoyed the history. I really enjoyed learning about each city which had its own history in itself. Now they are far away from each other. They're a good ride each way. They're about an hour in each direction. So we went to Keystone, we went to Hill City, and we went to Deadwood. All three, super fun, all three very touristy filled with stores that just sell nonsense and then restaurants that sell expensive beer and cheap food. But still worth the drive to go visit all three. Deadwood, absolutely my favorite and that is a must see. Another great part about Deadwood is it's right up the street from Sturgis. So whether you're in Sturgis or Deadwood, they're right up the road from each other so you can stop in both and check them out, watch the gambling. It's very easy to lose some money and I don't think the slots are really in your favor.